Hello, and today I just wanted to do a video on C C CSS shorthand. It's it's something that I I use all the time, especially in my videos because I'm constrained by time. So let's look at the the extreme, the, the longest way. And the most detailed way to target things in CSS. This is called the selector. It selects the different bit. Uh, so we normally just put the um, the hash sign and then sidebar. Um, but we can target the div. We can say the thing we're targeting. This is div and idea of sidebar. If you don't put what it is, then it automatically figures it out using its discretion because it looks for the thing that's got that. So, um, we can start by deleting the div declaration, but I, I just wanted to make sure you knew that it was something out there. Next, we could have text dash color, but you'll notice we just have color, and we could also ha have background dash color here but we just have color i always think when you start it's a good idea to write things out in full and um to start with i always write things out in full and there's some things i still write out in full with this wrapper this basically centers it on the screen um this is what we use all the time in our css all this CSS is basically saying the margin on the r there's no margin on the right there's n there's no margin on the top there's no margin on the bottom and it auto determines the margin on left and right so we can get rid of all that code and this will be something that looks more familiar to you if you watch my videos I often just put margin zero because you're when you're doing shorthand you always put the top and bottom value first so I can put zero auto when there's two values the first one is top and the le top and bottom and the last one is left and right I hope I'm explaining this right but it's kind of difficult and um let's apply this same philosophy with padding let's say i wanted to add some more padding to the content i could do padding bottom top left and right um but instead I could just do padding and then um, I think it goes top, right, left and bottom so I could say uh, uh, padding top is 10 and then padding right is 40 Padding left is zero, and padding bottom is ninety. So that's a really shorthand way of doing padding, and you can also do that with margin. I think I might have got mixed up with those, but if we just look, again, this is a hard. 
thing to explain. So when you hover, it applies those padding separately. So it has just the same effect as doing all those um, other declarations, but it cuts down on four lines of code. When you get into more uh, coding in general, you'll understand why that's important. Another one that I am um, going to start using is... And I have to admit, I don't, I don't use this at the moment. Is if we want a background, image, the long hand way of doing background image and say the value is a URL, and then putting the value in there. Uh, pretend the value was. image dot gif now that that um thing doesn't actually exist so um it won't do anything but what's the shorthand version of that well we can just say background URL and then put the URL and that is completely semantic okay another thing I wanted to show you is that you can set the background to, to repeat on the actual property itself so you can select repeat which repeats all styles repeat X which repeats the X axis or repeat Y which repeats the Y axis but remember, if you um, to repeat, it just repeats all sides. So that's what I'm going to do. And then that's completely valid markup. So right there, you just cut down on, on another line of code. So that's all the examples I can think of for right now. So we've got padding margin. Um background background image text color and really a lot of other things that are commonly used there are lots more but i can't think of them right now so hope hopefully you've enjoyed this video and remember why you need to use shorthand is they just cuts down so much code and makes your css so much easier to read at which when you start with a, a full website in one style sheet, you'll understand how it can get so difficult to track. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe if you liked it.